Yeah, Brian and Lauren officials said 28 dogs were being hoarded in a home that code enforcement describes as unlivable. A discovery not made if the homeowner hadn't called 911. I just walked up to the door and put my head in and uh, almost immediately started gagging. An honest way to describe the scene at this southeast Lubbock home Wednesday morning. It's one of the worst cases I've seen. There's about a foot and a half of dog feces caked on the floor. Um, the stench is unbelievable. Um, even this far away from the home, you can smell it. Nearly 30 dogs hoarded in the small home, many of them with mange, fleas, and possibly worse. In a situation like this, there's going to be a lot of inbreeding, so a lot of the dogs may have genetic deformities or issues once we get them out of here and, and get them a medical assessment. Lubbock Animal Services seized the animals after a medical emergency earlier this week, where first responders couldn't even reach the man in need. It was uh, something that takes a, it takes a special person to do this part of the job because it was, it was very filthy in there. So filthy that the home is being condemned and the woman who lives there taken into adult protective custody. These animals are going to need a lot of socialization, possibly medical care, but we do want to ask the community to go ahead and give us what resources they can to help this family and, and these animals. LAS tells us the dogs will be kept in their care for the next 48 hours as they conduct medical assessments and give the dogs some time in a stable environment. If you do want to help, LAS is asking for donations of flea and tick medication, and they say they'll inform the public on when those dogs will be available for fostering. Brian?